This is who you're subscribed to? This is one of the most cursed things I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at this dude. He looks so goofy with that costume. Like, it's really just Sonic in a Shadow onesie. Like, that's how weird it is. Like, this game can't get any weirder. I knew they were gonna pull horses and be like, you know what? Let's get Sonic a Shadow costume and call it a day. But like, this just feels so goofy, like in a good way though. It's not a bad costume at all. It's not a bad costume at all either. Like, it's pretty solid too. But like, it just feels so, so cursed. Like seeing like, like seeing Sonic wear a Shadow costume it just feels so, so weird. But yeah, interesting way to start off the year of Shadow. I'll tell you that. I heard this was already like in the game's files already. So like, it was inevitable what happened. I thought it was like a, a cut skin they had, but lo and behold, it came out today. It feels so weird to now fix in the game. Like once a year began, like it's just like, they saw the game says, like, you know what? What fix the game, which, which should have been done a couple months ago. Cause this game is full of technical glitches and issues. Like it's just so it's not as like glitchy as Call Ultimate, but I think it is just as glitchy as Call Ultimate. Like at least Call Ultimate had patches like several weeks after the game came out. Like superstars, they at least like Christmas on a skin before they fixed the game. Like let that sink in. You know they got the priorities straight. And supposedly the game not selling well either. So which I'm not surprised about because like this game is has a lot of flaws. I mean, it's a decent classic game, but the bosses suck. There's a lot of glitches and like and like over Overall, it feels like a, you know a huge chore to play. Like you want to go for, like beat the whole game. Like you had to go trip story in order to play Super Sonic Final Boss and like stuff like that too. It just feels so padding out and like it just feels two sets back for Sonic Mania in my opinion. Like it's a decent classic game, but like it's the weakest classic game of all time. Not counting Sonic 4, because Sonic 4 is worse than Superstars. But yeah, Sega is just once again Sega is just so weird when it comes to stuff like this. Like the craziest thing too, they waited like after the game stopped going on sale like after christmas and like black friday over like come on you're better than this sega and this game like came out the same week as mario wonder and spider-man 2 and like yeah that was a bad idea heck there was a couple of sonic fans i know that like said that oh i love sonic but i'm getting mario wonder day one and like wait for sale of superstars like you can tell how bad that is actually like especially like if it's 60 dollars too like it's not not worth 60 dollars for a budget 2d platformer if you want to buy a 2D platformer with that same price, it's Mario Wonder. Like, Mario Wonder easily beats Sonic Superstars in every way, shape, and form. Like, that game is literally, like, phenomenal. Literally, like, one of the best Mario games. Like, I'm down to beat that again. Like, I had so much fun with Mario Wonder. Where Superstars is just a decent classic game that I don't see myself replaying, like, from start to finish much like maybe like every once a year pretty much or like if i'm streaming the game for marathons or stuff like that then maybe i only see myself doing the main story because trip story sucks and and the super sonic campaign is locked behind a trip story which is already bad enough like they really pulled adventure right there except adventure like had unique gameplay styles too even though like you don't like big or gamma or amy like they were not as bad as trip like i rather play big stages then play trip like trip's not a bad character to play as but like her campaign is literally pointless it is just worthless and then again like the bosses too is literally bad it's crazy i beat the main story i was like hey this is pretty good and then like once i got a trip story and like the final boss and like other stuff too like padding out just feels like a chore i remember seeing those uh, articles coming out that like superstar takes like 24 hours to complete i'm like ain't no way it's the case and after being the game yeah this is actually if not tripled in that it's just so weird like i don't know why they made a game like this pretty much and like it's just so so weird and like i mean too the game soundtrack is also trash like i mean well it's not trash like you got t lope stuff you got like other stuff here too like it's such cool stuff but, like the jewish noise stuff is just not good to listen to no wonder why they got like 20 different composers for this game Thank you, Junus in the way. That's another thing too, like, I remember uh, Sam brought this up on Twitter. Uh, like, he said the reason why, like, Frontier and Mania so also so well, because the music drew people into the game. Like, Undefeatable, for example, got 20 million plays on Spotify. Like, that's how good the music is. And, like, remember when Mania came out, everyone was going crazy with the T-Lope music. Like, that's how, like, impactful the music in Sonic games always, like, drew people in. Or Superstar is just, like, the identity crisis. She's, like, you know, literally, like, Junus in the way. My also, yeah, this boss also sucks too. This boss literally just sucks so much. And there you go. Boss is finished. It's funny that like a lot of the boss in this game will easily make up a whole top 10 more Sonic bosses video. Like, if I'd done the Sonic boss tier list, then all the Super Sonic bosses would be F tier. Except maybe like one is like a C tier or D tier. 
But wait, that's from a shit. And that's all. And all I gotta say is that I'm never wearing this costume ever again. <laughs>